girls are ready. They're excited. We were just on the elevator with our boom box and they are ready to go. Got a lot of tradition at Morgan and so they're just hoping to keep it up and playing against a good team, North Sampe. We have a lot of respect for them so it ought to be a good one. A couple of ways you prepare. First of all, um, it's, any, it's anybody's game, that's why we play. Obviously, all the respect in the world to Morgan. They're very well coached, they're skilled, all the things we know about them. And so we're going to have to control on our side of the net. But Shelby Eisen's kind of our emotional leader and she's our outside hitter that, that just terminates. She puts the ball away. She's our best player by far. Um, and then Maddie Allred, she helps mix things up. She's on the right side. If we can roll offensively, um, I, I think we can, we can give them a game and, and try, to, try to win them. My whole team. Bench, everybody. I had a coach in between and she said, hey, your bench deserves the MVP. It never takes one in volleyball. It takes a whole team to get here and that's the way Morgan High, that's how we roll. Two years ago, they started this streak. So these younger kids are trying to keep the streak alive. So that's what we're trying to do. Now, let's get into the game. Into set one, Morgan already has a five point lead. They put it up for Marcia Stapley. She tips it off the block as the Trojans continue to lead the game. Morgan continues to control the set. Ellie Anderson dumps it. Kelby Henry pancakes it, keeping it in play. The Trojans get it back. They shoot it out to Bailey Lorcher on the outside. It's in between the block. Morgan is on fire. They'll get to point just a bit later. 24-11, a hard serve by Hannah Farr will secure set one, 25-11. In set two, the Trojans continue to click on all cylinders. It's put up for Stapley in the middle. Here she comes. It's down. That gives Morgan the 11-4 lead. They will keep that wide of a margin all the way to the end of the set where it's 22-8, needing to put points on the board. The Hawks get it out to Eisen at the four. She hammers it to the back row. It's off the libero's hand. North Sam P is trying to get back in this set. But the Trojans aren't having it. Anderson catches Stapley on the slide. She tears up the line. Then the next play, Morgan will get game point. They hit up Stapley again. She swings it off the back row as Morgan closes out set two, 25-11. Third set, the Hawks are starting to take flight. The Trojans push it out to Lordshire. It's blocked by Alyssa Erickson and Lindsay Flinder. North Sam Pete is down by two. They feed it out to Ison. She tools it off the block. Pulling the Hawks within one, the Trojans strike right back with another to Stapley in the middle. They'll then get to game point at 24-21. They give it to Stapley. She puts it away as Morgan claims set three, 25-21. The game three to zero and their third straight 3A Volleyball State Championship. The moment before that final point came, we all looked at each other and said, one more. One more is all it takes in our season's done. One more and we're state champs three times. And honestly, we were just so excited. Our emotions got to us. All of our hard work had came. And it was just such a moment that I wouldn't trade for anything. With those girls on the court, North Sampy had a great game and I, kudos to them. Oh, that moment will be forever in my brain. I feel good for those kids because those kids worked really hard to get here and it paid off. And they, they deserve it. They've worked hard. That's a great North Sampy team. Uh, but Morgan just went right through them, and it was it was fun. Congratulations to the Trojans for winning their third straight 3A title, defeating North Sam P in straight sets.